Francis Kofi. Uh, there was time of asking here in Accra and of course the Ghanaians and beautiful work there in defense. Lovely turn and there Francis Kofi goes. Switching over to the left. Francis Kofi, he's, has, he's got options on his left and he takes that option. On the cross being exhibited as a 1-2. Now ball comes to number 17, Francis Kofi. Francis Kofi deals with the Habib Mohamed. He's going for the over lap and a very poorly taken cross but the chance comes away of the stars and what a mighty boot from francis kofi ball goes way 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 over the top into the crowd and there you see the incursion again and i guess the ball fell on his unfavorite left foot to be affected by francis kofi long searching ball in heads will go was committed francis kofi had to go back so does uh, godfrey yeboah Mohammed will work the one two with uh, Francis Kofi. Finds Daniel Yeboah. Daniel looking for support. Gets it in Kofi once again. He's dilly dallying on the ball. Eventually finds. And now Edmond Owusu-Ansah. Moving threateningly to the 18 yard balls. A chance coming the way of Francis Kofi. Francis Kofi sends him a shot. And redeems a goal for the Black Stars. Francis Kofi took it on the volley. And some form of respite for the teaming crowd here. Two minutes of time added on and Francis Kofi has got one back for the Ghanaians as the Blacks have hopefully connected the ball. The Ghanaians hit back almost immediately with Francis Kofi. Into the ball. He stuck it into the roof of the net to make it 2-1 before the halftime mark. It was the first real shot on goal by the Ghanaians. We are looking forward to see lots of uh, such attacks from the Ghanaians. Here they go once again on the left side this time. This is Francis Kofi. Francis, another opportunity for an attack by the stars. Edmond Owusu and San Francisco. Francis Kofi. Francis Kofi. And now the Ghanaians take over. Tenacity of purpose. This is Eric Beckway. Francis Kofi is on. Stays in the shot. And the reflection gives the Ghanaians the equalizer. Francis Kofi. Both the Black Stars back into contention with his second personal goal in this game. After that run, it took a little deflection of the Nigerian Suleiman Somaila and goalkeeper Basse Akwan had no idea what really hit him. Wicked deflection it was. And Francis Kofi registering his name once again on the scoring sheet is the blasters of Ghana to the opportunity for them to break again and they'll break down the left hand side with Francis Kofi the score of the first two goals for the Ghanaians he chips it to yesterday one of the bigger and attacking with Edmond also answer down the middle he finds Francis Kofi Somebody get it on that one. Yes, got behind the defence, but the referee says it was flagged long ago. Of course, the number 17, uh, Francis Coffey. But in um, in Ghana, two main teams up there at the top of the league after 10 matches. Hearts of Oak and Asante Kotoko. I think Kotoko have got about seven players in this squad. Bobbling quite a bit as well, but see the speed the ball is moving. Can they get behind the defense? Cross doesn't come in. That's going to be a corner for Ghana. First corner of the match. Getting a bit scrappy now, but Zimbabwe on the ball, bringing, bringing away. A 
Ovidi Kururu headed home. A brilliant um, flashing up from a brilliant flashing. Oh my word! Great shot there, ladies and gentlemen. That's well worth another another view. Here we go. Brilliant burst down the left. And look at that for a shot. That was going in. That was on target from the number 17, Francis Coffey. Francis Coffey, danger man. Lovely pass to the, across the pitch. He's into the box. It's number 17. It's Francis Coffey again. And that's going to be a corner. Coffey earns a corner. It's last month. Bringing the ball away. And that is um, Francis Coffey again. Gets the ball across the back. Well, lovely little... Uh, so the Zimbabweans bursting forward down the left. It's Coffee on the ball. Francis Coffey. He's been an active man in this first half. He's looking for some support. He finds it on the far side. Edmund Owusu answered the cap. Indeed, they were in the first half at any rate. Ten minutes of this first half gone. Even Stevens here in the match. But two one shirts in this box. Here it comes down to the middle. Headed clear for now. It's gone as far as Mohammed again. Sorry, it's uh, Francis Coffey on the ball. So, tapped against the wall tamely. The Zimbabweans refusing the invitation to make it 3 1 from a beautifully placed free kick. Coffee looks like a hand. That free kick home just before half time, and that one was really un unexpected. Sent in a fierce. No, no, hey. Standing firm in defence. Now the turn of Francis Coffey. Looks for support and gets it in hand. He's tracks, but he's been taken over by Daniel Nieji. Chance coming away for the pocket by Warriors, and that is the equaliser against the run of play. Kumasi Asante Kotoko had been redeemed. And that goal came from the boot of Francis Coffey. In the right place at the right time, Nana. It looks well, like Kumasi Asante Kotoko want to prove you wrong. Well, they, want, they sure want to prove me wrong. I think they've got a couple million of supporters they need to prove wrong as well. But the touch too much in the middle of the park there. And then it just rolled on. Here we see the ball. It's a through ball. He's taken it in his stride. A player's gone down too early when he should really have stood up. But it's a shame we can't see it from the part where Stephen Menu had the ball. He had a touch too much. Lucky with a ricochet. And then it ended up... Enough, as always. What a fake that Francis... Uh, Francis Coffey, can he get his foot to it? Yes, he does. Lovely done. He takes in the culture, left foot across. Chances on for Stephen Menu. He family clearance from Office up here. Second let me guys give the ball away. This is Francis Kofi. He gets Francis as the O2 for the Asante Hini himself. And Francis Kofi. This Bissus puts in a leg. Nothing comes out of it. And Second D guys would have to defend at this stage. Good searching ball. Francis Aquafu, can he get to it? Things at training. Only uh, God knows what they do at training. But when it comes to set pieces, Corners, throw-ins, free kicks, indirect or direct, um, they seem to be clueless. Kumasi Asante Kotoko swept almost everything on the local scene. A lot of the teams have had very... ...get the ball back, and then look for Kofi. Races forward like an eagle. Can he get to the ball? Still trying to get the ball past Eric Ajiman. And the referee says it's a free kick. So less than two minutes.
There's of derision from the crowd, but of course, the referee knows better than they do, unless, of course, he, he had it wrong this time around. Controversial rule, the player has the almost time. And now, Eribe Pui tries to set off the attack, and this is Francis Kofi. He will be looking for support and finds it in Eribe Too much power, too much weight behind the pass, and Nibar picks it up gratefully. Now, Francis Kofi moving forward. Finds Bequay. Back to Kofi. Tries to cross the ball, but excellent defensive work there. situation ball curled inside This track has been taken over by Daniel Yeji. Chance coming away for the Pocky Warriors, and that is the equalizer against the run of play. Who Marcia has Santifatoko have been redeemed, and that goal came from the boot of Francis Coffey. 
in the right place at the right time. Then uh, well, like Kumasi Asante Kotoka want to prove you wrong. Well, they want. They sure want to prove me wrong. I think they've got uh, a couple of million of supporters. They need to prove wrong as well. But the much too much in the middle of the park there, and then it just rolled on. Here we see the ball. It's a through ball. He's taken it in his stride. A player's gone down too early when he should really have stood up. But it's a shame we can't see it from the part where Stephen Menu had the ball. He had a touch too much. Edmond Owusu and Sir moving threateningly to the 18 yard balls. A chance coming the way of Francis Kofi. Francis Kofi sends him a shot and redeems a goal for the Black Stars. Francis Kofi took it on the volley and some form of respite for the teaming crowd here. Two minutes of time added on and Francis Kofi has got one back for the Ghanaians as the Blacks have hopefully connected the ball. The Ghanaians hit back almost immediately with Francis Kofi. In the ball, he back it into the roof of the net to make it 2-1 before the halftime mark. It was the first real shot on goal by the Ghanaians. Let's take over. Tenacity of purpose. This is Eric Beckway. Francis Kofi is on. Stays in the shot. And the reflection gives the Ghanaians the equalizer. with his second personal goal in this game. After that run, it took a little deflection of the Nigerian Suleiman Somaila and goalkeeper Basse Akpan had no idea what really hit him.